right? And Aragorn doesn't know about his heel, but you know he could still get him in the heel. Aragorn's a good, as good as a bowman as Legolas, good with an axe as Gimli. He was one of the best fighters up there. Those that was from the first age. Um, but Achilles is up there with the greatest fighters. You know, if you went on fucking Family Fortunes, he'd probably be number one, or Hercules. Um, but yeah, Achilles was no god, and Aragorn was no god. They, they may well have descended from them. Um, Aragorn much more in canon material from Tolkien, Achilles a lot less. So I decided to do it completely on battle prowess um, and attributes and just overall character, um, emotions, anger, which we know Achilles suffer from. Um, whole real point of the the Iliad, it's about Achilles, you know, and, and his his kind of it's a just read read it. And I have just read it. Um, I've read many books because I thought that was it was fair for me to do the video once I read all the books. But I've got a big. Mythology book here. Look at the size of that fucker. Um, I've got a beautiful cover of The Hobbit, you know, even though Gandalf is actually. He is. We've got a blue hat on. He robbed one of the wizard's blue hats. Saruman was right. Um, I've read The Unfinished Tales which says a lot about Aragorn and his ancestry. Um, and what I'm reading for the next fight, because the winner of this, so either Aragorn or Achilles will go on to face fucking Beowulf. Um, so here we are, height-wise. Back then, they, when Homer sang, because he was supposedly blind, and he, a lot of his work was written down, um, a lot of what was said about Achilles was believed by Greek Greek people, so they didn't really know the in, 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 like just they didn't know that you know the, the Achilles heel that wasn't a common thing said then. Um, it's much like how people confuse uh, Julius Caesar with 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 Shakespeare's version, you know. Um, so Homer, it was it, it said that they took us they took around it was about four centuries that before Homer. And the Iliad came out that he was actually singing about. So, if the Trojan War was in fact true, um, Achilles probably would have been about five foot, if that. But I've read sources of him being six foot two, some sources of him being uh, 33 feet tall. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to go with, to be fair, six foot two. None of these are really mentioned in the Iliad. Um, but for a Greek man back then, I'm going to go for six or two because it's it's obviously fantasy, you know, Ajax and whatnot. Um, so right, Aragorn was six for six, so Aragorn still does have the high advantage. Next, I will talk about weapons. One, why does Achilles actually have a shield if his skin is fucking impregnable? You know, it didn't you know so. But anyway, Achilles' shield is bronze, bronze, bronze plated. It's it's one of one of the most important weapons or you know armors in ancient Greek history. Um, and Achilles was an idol to many, especially Alexander the Great, who disdained, uh, dis uh, claimed ancestry from him, as did many. Um, so yeah, his shield was very important. His ash spears as well, which usually he had three of. And yeah, so that's that's his one so far. He did have armor, a lot more armor than the Aragorn wears, but not this. Um, so yeah, he did have armor. His shield was was probably his mightiest weapon, and his eyesight was keen, um, very keen. And he did have a short sword, but that swords were never really used as a primary weapon, even if they were barely even used. It's much more of a romantic type of thing. Um, but in all the rings obviously are used and they can be wielded in battle and they are effective especially if they're as light as Aragorn's sword so here Aragorn has bows so he has bow and arrow he has bow, bows with arrows he has daggers on both legs um, and he has flame of the west which is a bastard and a half sword 
so and it weighs nothing nothing um so i would say in terms of arms to me flame of the west <clears throat> is so important because it can slice through anything it's got a prophecy about it to me that wins that does win also aragorn's got the bow so if he does fire one he could hit achilles heel also aragorn was telepathic as in lord of the rings with Labriel. And you know all the all the wise, all the the white council. Um, and when Aragorn used to join in, they didn't actually verbally speak. Nothing came out. You know they, they were telepathic to a certain extent. And Aragorn could read emotions too. Um, he was much much so in terms of fighting. Aragorn was much more. What he was much of a, a quick thinker with judgment. You know he was a shrewd fire. Um, and he often 